Hi, so today I will show you how you can create, debug, and deploy App Engine applications directly from ExoCloud IDE. So uh, let's start by creating a new project, and uh, you'll see that here we added two new project types, which are the Java App Engine type and the Python. So let's do a Java App Engine app, I call it GAE Demo. And so it will ask you to confirm that you want to deploy to Google App Engine. And at this point, you must authenticate with your Google App Engine account. So if you're actually si already signed into your Gmail account or to your Google account, you can just uh, allow access. Authentication. So you can now close the tab and finish the step. So at this point, you'll need to create an um, App Engine application. So it gives you your, your app ID. So let's create a new app. It opens a new tab in Google App Engine, and you, where you choose your application identifier. So let's call it the Cloud ID GAE. And let's check if that's available. Yep. And let's create the app. So it's now creating your new App Engine application, and you can close that tab. And you can actually choose to directly deploy this application. So meanwhile, what happened is that um, actually your uh, application ID was uh, thematically updated in App Engine Web. So here you see that that's the, the ID I chose. So you don't have to do that manually, but you can always change that later if you want to. So as you can see in the bottom here, it's currently deploying uh, to App Engine after building the project. So let's wait a few more seconds. And we now have the application URL, so on cloudid-gae.appspot.com. And here we have a text search demo application running on the App Engine. So I can actually add here a new document. So you can add a new document and adds it to the list here. Okay, so now let's see how you can run our debug or app locally. So if you look in the run menu, you'll find the run and debug options. And what it does actually launches um, the Google App Engine SDK on the Cloud ID server. So it pretty much reproduces the experience that you have when you develop with Eclipse on your machine and running the SDK locally. So let's start the debugger. And uh, while the, the server is launching the app, um, I'm going to show you um, actually the auto-completion feature. So let me open the Java file. And uh, if I use auto-completion on an import statement, you'll see that we've added all the App Engine libraries to the class path so that you have access to all the, the methods and all the packages. So, for example, on App Engine, you see that we can access all those different methods. All right, so let's delete the statement and save the file. As you can see, the debugger has appeared at the bottom of the screen. <clears throat> so um, now our app is actually running um, on the Cloud ID server. So if we look in the in the output window, you see that we actually generated a, a random URL. Where your app is running, and it's the same app that was running on, on App Engine. So if I add, for example, Exo as a document, it's going to be added to the list. So let's go back to our tab and set the breakpoint in the app. So let's see, for example, on the, the rating statement. So we see that the breakpoint is added in the breakpoint window. And now let's add a new document and add it. And we'll see that uh, the application is blocked at the breakpoint. And going back to the debugger, we can now inspect all the variables and uh, see that the content variable is set to Google, as that's the in input I, ju I just typed in. And I can actually modify that value. 
and change that, for example, to Cloud ID. And now I can, <coughs> for example, step over to the next step, to the next instruction. And so once I'm, I'm satisfied and I, I found what I wanted to find out, I can just resume and um, my app will, will continue. As you can see, that's the cloud ID string that was added to the list. So now if I go back to my application, I can actually go to the Google App Engine menu in, in Project. You can now um, update the application, which will redeploy it um, to your App Engine target. And as you can see, you can also update other um, App Engine services, such as backends, crowns, resource limits. So try it yourself on cloud-id.com and let us know what you think.